In this video, I will discuss about uh, Pirani vacuum gauge operation. This vacuum gauge is widely used in industries for the measurement of the pressure below the atmosphere, that is vacuum. This is the classification of the pressure, absolute pressure, gauge pressure and differential pressure. Here you can see that absolute pressure is always specified with respect to the zero and vacuum is generally specified in absolute pressure. Suppose if you are uh, specifying the vacuum value as 10 power minus 2 millibar, so it is always with respect to the zero. And gauge pressure is specified with respect to the atmosphere. Suppose if you are specifying as 10 psi g, so it is uh, 10 psi above the atmosphere. And uh, differential pressure, if you want to measure uh, pressure at two uh, different points, so in that uh, case, so differential pressure is specified and one of the common application is orifice plate. So, when it, uh, across the orifice, we need to measure the pressure drop and that pressure drop is proportional to the flow rate. So, in that case, a differential uh, pressure is measured. Absolute pressure, that is vacuum uh, measurement. So, a vacuum is always specified in absolute pressure. Pressure below the atmospheric pressure is known as vacuum. So, and vacuum is having a number of, uh, so vacuum is uh, generated for a number of applications in industries. For example, if you take a semiconductor industry or uh, if you take a food packing industry or any chemical industry, so vacuum need to be generated, need to be maintained and, uh, and controlled and measured. So vacuum is the process of removal of the gases or vapor from an enclosed space, only containers or vessels or furnaces. Mm, as much as possible for any particular purpose that is depending upon the application and commonly used units uh, for vacuum are tor, millibar, bar, kilopascal, pascal, psi, inches of water and uh, the commonly used units of all these commonly used units for vacuum is uh, tor and if you see what is uh, tor so if one tor is defined as the amount of gas pressure that is required to raise a column of mercury by 1 mm so here if you see this is a youtube manometer so the amount of the pressure that is causing a 1 mm of uh, raise of this mercury column is uh, termed as uh, 1 torr so manometer what we have seen is a direct pressure measurement technique so the force that is uh, caused by the pressure is measured in terms of uh, the liquid uh, head so if you go to the lower pressure so this uh, direct pressure measurement is not possible because the force is not sufficient to generate a uh, measurement head so in that cases what we are doing so we are doing an indirect uh, pressure measurement so as we know that the uh, gas as per the kinetic theory of gases so the gas is having ability to carry the heat so and it also having uh, some viscosity and it also having uh, the molecules which can be ionized then the ion current can be measured so any of this property can be used for the measurement of uh, this uh, lower pressures so this thermal conductivity gauges we are uh, going to discuss in this uh, uh, video so that is the pirani gauge so in pirani gauge uh, so the ability of the gas molecules to carry the heat so in that in that principle we are measuring the pressure so pre measures pressure by measuring the change in the ability of the gas to conduct heat so more higher the pressure means more number of the gas molecules are present more uh, the heat will be transferred so this we are using for measuring the pressure the ability of the material to carry the heat by conduction is known as thermal conductivity and the pirani gauge based on this principle is widely used for vacuum measurement since their invention in 1906 in thermal connectivity gauges, so that is in Pirani case, so heated wire with the high temperature coefficient of resistance that is tungsten is placed in a vacuum environment. So the wire whose resistance is proportional to the temperature will form the one arm of the balanced Wheatstone bridge. So here we can see, so this is the um, uh, Pirani gauge head which is having a tungsten filament which is forming one arm of the Wheatstone bridge. And uh, this is connected to the uh, system where in vacuum need to be measured. So more number of molecules means higher pressure. So higher pressure means uh, this heat carried by this here you can see this um, molecules will be more. So the temperature will be decreasing. So the resistance will be decreasing. And similarly if um, less number of molecules present. So less heat will be carried by this molecule means temperature of the filament increases then resistance increases and this is uh, we can see this uh, wire uh, generally tungsten that is tensioned constantly within a tube that is electrically heated to a constant temperature between 110 and 130 degrees centigrade by passing a current through the wire 
So these gas molecules are colliding with the wire and transferring heat from it and unbalancing the bridge and this unbalance will cause a output voltage that is measured by using the Bridgestone bridge. And Pirani is uh, become wide uh, industry standard because of its reliability, high reliability, low cost and uh, relatively wide uh, pressure range. From atmospheric pressure it can measure up to 10 power minus uh, 5 millibar. So here uh, you can see in um, clear what happens when there is a high pressure or low pressure inside uh, this uh, uh, Pirani gauge uh, head. So whenever there is uh, high pressure means more number of gas molecules are present. So more conduction of the heat by that gas molecules. Then the temperature of the filament decreases and also the resistance of the filament uh, decreases because this is having a positive temperature coefficient of resistance because we are using tungsten. So whenever temperature uh, decreases, the resistance also decreases. And similarly, if you see if it is a low pressure, means uh, no low number of less number of gas molecules are present in the chamber, means less conduction of the heat by that gas molecules, then the temperature of the filament increases and this causes a change, uh, increase in the resistance of that particular filament. And this increase or decrease in the resistance is uh, unbalancing the bridge and this unbalance is measured in terms of the voltage output of the Wheatstone bridge. Here this is an important relation between the heat transfer of this uh, uh, Pirani gauge and the pressure. So there is a linear relationship between uh, here these two dotted lines. So here you can see this is even though it is having a pressure range of 1 uh, that is 1000 millibar which is atmospheric pressure to 10 power minus 5 millibar but here you can see only in this range that is 10 power minus 3 to 100 millibar so it is having a good accuracy. If you are going out of these uh, two range the accuracy is very poor that is error is very high in this plus or minus 50%. So the vacuum gauge generally used for having in this range. So that is 10 power minus 3 to 100 millibar. If you are uh, going out of this uh, range for uh, measurement of this uh, low pressure. So it is giving a very high uh, error with this Pirani gauge. So here this is the reason where uh, this conductivity of the gas molecules dominates. So there is a linear relationship between the thermal uh, transfer uh, between the gas molecules and the pressure and if you go out of this uh, range that is higher pressures the, here the convection dominates and if you go to the lower pressure, radiation dominates so there is no relationship between uh, conduction and uh, um, uh, gas molecules in this region and in this region so this how this unbalance will cause us an uh, output voltage in the which we will see how with an uh, equation so the, here we can see this is the uh, actual measuring element that is a Pirani gauge in addition to that so there is another uh, compensating element so what is the purpose of this compensating element so any changes in the excitation voltage or any ambient condition variations it will have a compensating effect how we will see in the coming uh, slide by, uh, by deriving an equation. So as this uh, bridge is having two elements, two changing uh, resistance elements. So this is known as half bridge configuration. So this is the bridge. So if we want to derive the output, so VAC minus VBC. So what is VAC? So R1 plus delta R1, where delta R1 is the change in resistance of this arm. Whereas R4 uh, plus delta R4, uh, so this change in resistance of this arm. So if you see this, then the V0 equal to VAC minus VBC. If you consider R1 equal to R2 equal to R3 equal to R4, all uh, initial resistance are equal to R1, R, that is uh, as a constant if you consider. And if you derive the equation, so you can see this derivation. And finally, we are getting here. So delta R3 plus delta R1 minus delta R2 minus delta R4. So whatever um, in this adjacent term will be cancelled. So any change other than uh, due to the pressure, so the resistance changes, so it is automatically a compensated. Here you can see it is a delta R4. So this is delta R3. So any changes other than the vacuum, so it is automatically compensated because uh, this is placed in the adjacent terms. So this will be compensated. So output is only proportional to the change in resistance of only due to the pressure variations. So this is an important uh, graph. So if a Pirani gauge that is calibrated for air, here you can see. So if you use that gauge for uh, uh, this argon, 
so here argon you can see from the chart is having a lower thermal conductivity than air so in that case so what the gauge gauge will show the low pressure values even though actual pressure is high because the heat transferred by this argon is less so the gauge what the gauge will think so it is having uh, lower pressure so it will uh, give a wrong value and the gauge that is calibrated for if you are using for helium because here helium is having higher thermal conductivity so helium will show higher pressure even though the actual pressure is low so the gauge so need to be calibrated as it is a gas dependent so gas each gas is having a separate thermal connective value so depending upon the application the gauge need to be calibrated thank you for watching my video